The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Lick my taint. No. All right. Well, then don't. Okay. I don't want to. I'm out of here. Okay. That's all I came for. That's it? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I ain't getting a taint lick in the night, I sticking around. Okay. Well, it that's my policy it from here on out. It taint gonna happen. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. All Jesus right. Jesus Christ. Is this what we're in for? Is this what we have to look forward to? Yes, sir. Is this the new format of the show where uh -huh. you pull all the zingers? Yep. Because I'm done. Okay. Um, <laughs> and also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 Wichita's Funniest Person winner, Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. I will be teabagging you later. <laughs> no. I said no taints. No, teabag is straight balls. Mm -hmm. Straight oh, balls. Yeah. I don't know. You I'm going to go backwards, though, so the taint touches your <laughs> See, nose. See, I knew yeah, it was yeah. coming, yeah. Uh, the old reverse teabag. That's now, right. If yeah. he keeps the taint out of it, can he teabag you? <laughs> no, he can't. Is that Because you, <laughs> you made your one hard, fast rule, no taint. <laughs> I'm almost 40. They go low. I don't even have to really kneel down that far. I can kind of curtsy him in there. Yeah. Yeah, then you, you won't have, you won't, you'll be fucking feet away from my taint. No, I'm good. I'm uh, sure that you guys have probably heard this, but I just heard it for the first time the other day. Why they why they call it the the taint? At least on women, because it taint the uh, taint that giant, taint that yeah. <laughs> taint your hiney, taint your vagina. Yeah, I heard taint I your like nuts, taint one. your asshole. Yeah, too. Uh, but anyway, they called on Jackass the gooch. Yeah, that. gooch. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that before too. Yeah, I don't get the that gooch one. was also the bully on uh, different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like guy cooch. Gooch. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, which would make sense. Which would be your asshole. Yeah, right. That, yeah. Well, no, that would be your 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 taint. Yeah. I mean, that would be where the cooch would be if you had one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast where we talk about taint an top. anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Talking taints all day, every day. <laughs> right here on WTAINT, the taint. <laughs> But anyways, if this what? is the very first time you've ever listened to this uh, podcast, this is a comedy show uh, where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 90% or 90% of the time they are involving me in some way. And also this is an adult podcast where you use loud noises and foul language. And so if that's not your cup of tea, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Whew. We don't drink tea on this podcast. No, we Scotty. don't. Ah, that was a loud noise. It mm -hmm. is. See, got it. But we, anyways, we've been we've been lacking in that department. You, you know what? I'm. I gotta. I gotta pull it here. I've heard louder. Oh no! Oh, I'm just man. saying. Not, dude, that not, ain't, don't do that. Not, nope. 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 Okay, that's good. That's good. Wasn't that loud? I mean, we just, just saying, ca but. we just caused like thousands of car accidents throughout <laughs> the United States. Oh God! I've always wanted to do that. I'm sure. Well, at, at least a dozen. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. I think you really overestimate our audience. <laughs> we don't really. have that much of a reach. Uh -huh. Not many that can drive either. Mm, right. Yeah. yeah we, we got go. a lot most of youngins. Of, yeah, most of go. ours can't even buy a firearm. Yeah. Yeah. Many of them are on work release. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, we're coming off of uh, a lot of stuff that we had over this last week, including Christmas. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Hope you listened to our episode while you were on your road trips. Jingle bells, motherfuckers. That's right. Actually, this entire episode, we're going to explain the meaning of Christmas and the, how it all came. Yeah. Did it involve taint? Mm -mm. Okay. That was worth a shot. Uh, but it, Just above Mary's taint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but there was an immaculate conception. <laughs> We've got Franco a lot of Harris was there. <laughs> <laughs> Don Meredith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The great, what was the other wise when there was Franco, Don, Don Meredith, and <laughs> uh, uh, Steve O? Uh, uh, two Tall Jones. Okay. <laughs> and Two Tall Jones. <laughs> ah, the three wise men. Yeah, mm. that's right. Uh, but we had a lot of sports going on over this last week. We got some NFL information. We've got uh, some real shit, horse shit, bad advice for the very first time on this week's episode. Good. Yeah. Good. I plan to give it bad. Yep. Overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, and as always, a good draft and a shitty situation. So tune in 
it, uh, you're already doing that. Uh, but before we get on to the sports, we'd like to talk about our last week. Uh, what happened to us over the Christmas season? Uh, starting with Derek. What? What'd you do over the last week, buddy? Uh, celebrated the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, of course. Yep, baby Jesus. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we had we had Christmas. Over at my, we went to my stepmother's house first in Kansas City. Congratulations. And that was actually a good time. We had fondue for Christmas dinner, Ooh, which was really? fucking great. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming cheese. Yeah. And okay. chocolate. Oh, really? Yeah. They did chocolate too. It was. Hopefully not same time. No, 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 okay. no, not the chocolate covered cheese. That's a delicacy. Yeah. Only we mixed in, them in together. Kill two birds with one yeah, stone. Right? Only in Normandy. Mm. Uh, so. <laughs> We had fondue and cho- uh, cheese and chocolate fondue, and then opened up gifts. And my stepmother, uh, we got her a fire pit, like nice. one of those propane big fuckers. Yeah. So we had it wrapped up, and she kept asking what it was. Uh, I told her it was a dead hooker. Mm. Uh, we were gonna. We actually got her one a couple of weeks before, but a dead, uh, a dead yeah, but you could smell it. So we had to get sure. her. Sure, that gives away a, the surprise. Had to go for a fresh kill. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got up there actually the twenty third and did open mic at the Comedy Club of Kansas City. Holy mm. smokes! How's it go? Is that the one that used to be Stanford and Sons? No, I no. Think okay, so. no. I think it's a brand new one. That, oh, uh, all right. It, well, not brand new now. It's been around for a while. They got a lot of good comics that are coming there. Holy shit! Really? Yeah. In the next four months, like all the way up through April, I've seen that they. They're having Ron Funches, who I love. Uh, Ron Funches is great. Uh, Adam Carolla. Yeah, uh, buddy. Gilbert Godfrey's mm-hmm. going to be there. Okay. Oh, no. Like, they have, they get a lot of fucking great comics in that club. More than, I, I mean, I think they have a better draw or better comics and bigger comics than for that room. It, that's impressive. Yeah. So, for I, people who, I, I just want to clear this up, a lot of people will be turning up their nose at the idea of Gilbert Godfrey. If you've never seen him do actual stand-up, if you've only seen him do shit on roasts or whatever, or be in movies or as that stupid personality, he's a fucking hilarious really? stand-up comedy. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about going to all three of those shows. Okay. I might drive up and go to all those. That looks great. Uh, the thing that I will say about what I saw in Kansas City, with uh, there were about fucking 15 or 17 open micers. Uh-huh. Uh, they give you three minutes instead of five. Okay. Um. It was uh, very encouraging for the Wichita scene. <laughs> uh, there were a couple. Uh, Dustin Slentz uh, is a guy up there that he had me laughing a, a, quite a bit there. And well, that's a catchy name, yeah. Slentz. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> he was he was funny. You got to change that, dude. You could make your stage name whatever the fuck you want. I did <laughs> Be- because my real last name is hard to pronounce. Yeah. So that, yeah, there were a few of them, that, and then uh, I can't remember the a couple of the other guys' names, but they uh, they were great. And uh, but a lot of them were really rough, uh, especially the first few. I ended up going fourth, mm-hmm. and uh, I was by I was with a cut my cousin, and he goes, uh, "Man, is it a rough crowd or what?" I said, "No, we're getting ready to find out." <laughs> <laughs> so no, I actually did pretty well. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. And then we went to my par- or my wife's parents for Christmas Day, and uh, I was wrong. Mm. Okay, so to rewind, I was talking about how. My stepbrother had, or my brother-in-law has uh, w- uh, one biological or two biological, one step, two adopted, and two fostered. Right? Okay. And kids, make that four fostered. Oh, mm. we got more Reynolds kids. Yeah, they have nine children <clears throat> in, in this little three-bedroom house. You're allowed to own three cats, <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason, you can have nine kids. <laughs> That should be illegal. <laughs> Maybe. It should. Oh my God. 4F. That's actually the code they use to disqualify you from the military. Saying yeah. you're unable to join. Yeah. Because you have too many cats or kids? Kids. Probably kids. Yeah. 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 Oh God. I don't think he could have joined any military. But four fosters. That's uh, yeah. the 4F. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Is probably he's, he's probably, his own military. I think he's going for a he's, full six pack. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's really worried about the draft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, holy fuck. So uh, I spent a lot of time downstairs <laughs> watching football. <laughs> away so, from kids. Away from kids. Very, very Yeah, good. I can't. I, well, man, I mean, you're, the court order says you're supposed to be anyway, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. No, that's not his. That's mine. <laughs> I'm supposed to stay away from I, I think you're just supposed to stay away. Yeah. No. I, Period. That's, doesn't I, matter kids or not. Just get the fuck yeah, away. Fully functional adults. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just go away. Oh, my God. I could not fucking believe just the craziness that that was all about. Yeah. I can't I, I can't do kids like that. 
No, oh, you're not supposed to do kids at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have a son, and when he was little, getting anywhere on time, getting just getting him around and me around mm-hmm. was a fucking nightmare. I couldn't imagine with all of those fucking people having to get most of them around. I mean, fuck that. No. I'm never coming over to your brother's house or yeah. brother-in-law, whatever. <laughs> Who's that brother? Well, what's funny is for Christmas, we got him a, a family membership to Exploration Place. <laughs> I just can't wait when they like, yeah, 11, please. <laughs> and then wait the fuck a minute here. It's going to be $75,000. <laughs> and they're like, mm-hmm. no, uh, we actually have the family pass. Yeah, there's no fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> Two of those kids are Chinese. They're not your fucking kids. Those four aren't even real kids. <laughs> yeah. uh, that this was, is ridiculous. Yeah. I quit. And why, are, why are they drinking Australian beer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is that it? Yeah. Okay. That was that was it. All right. I had an excellent weekend. Great weekend. I got to go. Shit. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I got to go out to Western Kansas is where I'm. Well, you know, Woo! Oh yeah, the smell of shit every day. That's uh-huh. that. Yeah, it's, it's actually your wrists. Oh, mm-hmm. is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. I uh, got to see a lot of family members I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, especially I'm sure they preferred that. They uh, were excited to see me. Those are the only people that are excited to see me is my family. Uh, they don't listen to the show. I'm guessing. No, yeah. they don't. Um, Good I, on them. I I, I want to uh, say thank you to my brother Fred. He got me uh, a really really off the wall gift that I fucking love. Was it double headed or single headed? No, just single. Does okay. it vibrate? Uh, I I talks. Ooh, wow. Does it, go. <laughs> does it just go like like? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> does, it, does it say, "Ooh, Scotty, you're so bland"? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sounds like Kenny from South Park. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they say that? Basically, everything he's saying under there, most of it is filthy. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, no, he got me, like, the Turbo Man from Jingle All the Way, like the actual official one that they came out with for the movie back in the 90s, which totally threw me off guard, but I f- fucking love it. Um, got well, some I'm other sure cool that'll stuff. come in handy. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> For had, doing, you know, <clears throat> stuff. Yeah. I might put it on the desk. Jeremy, leave me alone. Um, Not this one. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, driving home i was really worried we came back sunday and i was really nervous because obviously that's when football starts and so i wanted to get up early enough to where we could leave get back in town and so i didn't miss any football what you think football can't go on without you no it can't it can it can it can and does it didn't because mm-hmm. while i was driving we, we didn't leave when i wanted to leave and that's solely my fault um but i was able to i get, assume you still took it out on your wife yes if i can show her who's boss that's yeah right uh, I got NFL Red Zone on my phone, and I watched that shit while I was driving the rest of the way home. Well, you showed them, didn't you? I sure did, because, ladies and gentlemen, the belt is not yet in jeopardy. I am going to the, the championship, and I might win two years in a row. I can't fucking believe it. Yeah! Are you going to oh. buy another fucking belt if you win? No. No, that He's one's... going to buy a gold cock this, ring. This one's staying in the leash. Show this it is, off. Whoever wins the league gets the belt. That's my gift to them. If you win next year, I'm canceling the league. You know what? Over. Nobody asked for that. I know. You can just not. Oh, but the cool thing is, is that most likely, the way that it looks like now is that it's going to be me against my stepdad. And he's never won. He's been the bride. No, no he lost here. in life. If he's your stepdad, he <laughs> fucking gave up a long time that, ago. That, that means he chose me, by the way. He, gave, he lost the marital lottery right there. <laughs> but it's going to be pretty cool. He's never won. He's been like he's been the maid of honor. I think he was the year I won. Four, yeah, four years in the league. Mm-hmm. He's been second place over and over and over again. Never won. The Menendez yeah. parents were prouder of their mm-hmm. kids than Thanks. yours are of you. Thanks, man. the Dahmers. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, but no, I kind of hope. I kind of do hope the Menendez wins. that fucking they, <clears throat> they murdered their parents. I think that yes, was the Menendez yeah, the brothers. Menendez yeah. brothers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't, Claiming that I didn't uh, their dad used to rape him, yeah. I believe. Yikes. So okay. he was kind of proud of him. Found him <laughs> attractive <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, that was my week. Scotty's like, sign me up. No. No, thank you. Go ahead and go, Jeremy. How was your week? It was nice. Good. Uh, I've been off work since last Wednesday. That's got to be uh, my, my work gives me a lot of time off at Christmas time, so that's that's always nice. Um, got, uh, got some really cool shit for Christmas. Mm. Got this shirt for Christmas. Yeah, but Which I uh, immediately yelled at my mm. wife for once I tried it on. I told her it makes me look fat. <laughs> uh, has nothing to do with the fat. It's this shirt. <laughs> it's the shirt. I'm going to blame it 100% on this shirt. Mm-hmm. I don't get um, it. 
assistant. You didn't the, you didn't watch the you uh, don't like the office. office. No. Yeah. yeah that'd no, be I'm not that white. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dwight Schrute, Rain Wilson's character, always called himself the assistant regional manager when his actual title was assistant to the regional manager. Right. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've uh, I stopped and got beer and got no less than four compliments on this shirt. So apparently, it's a popular thing. Yep. And it's a great shirt. Mm-hmm. To which I told each one of those people, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm better than you. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. What else? Did I, do? I got some pretty cool shit. I got a router table wing for my, my table saw. Oh, so it can like go online wirelessly now? Yeah. It can. Yeah, yeah that's sweet. what you need. You need a Wi-Fi. You need a smart table saw. Yeah. Mm. That's exactly Before right. It was stupid. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I got that. And I, uh, I got a bunch of gift cards that I've already ordered some pretty cool tools with. And then um, we'll double be, headed or single headed? <laughs> double. <laughs> <Or> double. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bend it around. I got to have it touch my tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, ah, the happy meal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we haven't had the uh, Christmas with my folks yet. That'll come tomorrow. So oh, cool. Yep. Now I'll get to see my brother. And then. Um, Why would you want to see him? I don't know. Okay. Because he's going to have a gift for me. But you and I have one for him that I need to fucking drop off because I don't want it. But didn't you already say, say what it was on the show? Yeah, he probably hasn't listened. <laughs> okay. And even if he has, he knew what he was getting. Yeah, right. He, <laughs> he knew what he was getting into when he joined this fucking family. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, other than that, uh, oh, I finished watching The Boys. Yeah, what you finished think? that series. Um, well, it's not over yet. It obviously has sure. another season to come. But I enjoyed it. Okay. I, I stopped. I stopped a little little way through it. I didn't get as into it. It's got superhero movies, man, or TV shows, whatever. Yeah, but this is a whole different take on it. It's this dark. is actually probably more realistic to how it would actually be. You're yeah. probably right, yeah. Yeah, you're probably Once right. Once you realize no one can kill you or stop you from doing anything, it's going to get dark. Yeah. They, they actually made a, a movie, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically the story of Superman if he were evil how it would actually go takes place in kansas and all that but just him fucking everybody up <laughs> i was gonna it's got air bud in it yeah 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 uh, i thought so he's the yeah. most <laughs> famous kansan ever air bud is that true no jeremy superman is more than gail sayers gail sayers is pretty up there yeah okay. <laughs> speaking of gail sayers uh i got my dad uh a signed mini helmet of gail sayers to which I know Derek is a huge Chicago Bears fan, and I wanted to get something Chicago Bears for my dad. My dad's a huge Bears fan. And uh, he said he didn't have anything. And uh, so I mm. looked, and I did find this mini helmet, and I was really excited to give it to him. Uh, just so happens, two years prior, got my dad the same fucking thing. I uh, remember you getting your dad Mini that. helmet, Gale Sayers. Okay. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, I mixed them up because I want, but Piccolo is so fucking hard to find. Yeah, you're not going to find Brian Piccolo. Yeah, so, well, he's dead, but other than that. Yeah, it's a yeah weird, you, can, it's a, you can find him yeah. pretty easily. He doesn't move around. <laughs> That's <much>. actually <laughs> the weirdest Where's Waldo book I've ever seen. <laughs> Where's Brian yeah. Piccolo? Yeah. 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 Nobody, all, nobody he, thought he'd be more stationary than he was when he was with the Bears. Mm-hmm. But it uh, turns out, no, he's been in the same spot for a while now. But uh, actually, since I never actually gave up the floor, you just fucking took it. Can oh, I have sorry. my spirit stick back? Go ahead. To say one other thing, I got a new PS5 game. Oh, which one? Based off Derek's recommendation, Guardians of the Galaxy. More superheroes, Scotty. Mm. Um, not really superheroes, just uh, comic book shit. Mm-hmm. Um, like it's it? fucking addictive. Yes, I can it tell is. You that. Yes, it is. And boy, did it almost make me rip my fucking TV off the wall <laughs> at one point. <laughs> <laughs> really? There, along the way, you can make all these little different decisions. Mm-hmm. And there is one point in there where if you make one particular decision, decision the credits start rolling the game's fucking over (laughs) i did not do that and um, i was about to fucking (laughs) go off and then it gives you a a point would you like to reconsider your decision and then it keeps going on but it's it's way too early in the game for it to be over (laughs) that's Uh, horseshit i'd be so pissed i Uh found out why it was so difficult to find because it went on sale for like twenty eight. Oh yeah, bucks. yeah. My wife was. I like, spent sixty dollars on I it. I found it. I had to get it online, and it was cheap. Yeah, that's what man. she said. So well, it's nice to know that she spends all kinds of fucking money on me. Well, there you go. Actually, she blew all kinds of money on that fucking router table wing. Those sure. things are not cheap, and yeah. they are heavy. Thank God, my son was over there to help me put it on. Well, good. Because it was really fucking heavy. I've also gained probably twenty pounds. 
since uh, last week. Yeah, but it's on your cock. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, That's that was what my father-in-law got me, was a cock enlarger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's still... He's still in town, which is why I'm still drinking. Um, <laughs> but uh, he is at least out of our house and, and over at my wife's sister's. There you so go. good news all the way around. Now I'm done, Scotty. Now I'll okay. pass the spirit stick back to you. Well, great. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to get to. But before we get to the sports, we're going to talk about our sponsor like we do every week. I hope mm-hmm. you took advantage of the Christmas uh, season and got your relatives some of these excellent products from manscaped.com. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't, how fucking stupid are you no not to? Shit. It? Jesus, this is good shit. I mean, grandmothers all over the United States would love the lawnmower 4.0, especially with that uh, LED light, that adjustable one. That's uh that's going to help you get Grandma's some nooks get and crannies. younger crazy. and younger all the time, they don't they? They sure do. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, manscaped.com um Excellent uh, side has been sponsoring us now for almost a full year. Yeah, believe it or not. Um, so thank so keep you. Keep shaving those balls. Keep shaving those balls. Uh, but they have a bunch of excellent products. They came out like we talked last week. Uh, the crop cleanser, I believe, is what it's called. And mm-hmm. that, that is the all body and hair wash. So uh, you get to do what I normally do on a regular basis, which is use the shampoo to wash mm-hmm. your body, and that's what it's designed for. So excellent product for that. Uh, but my favorite is still the weed whacker. Get those nose hairs out of there. I guess your ear hairs, Jeremy, uh, yeah. if you've got that. But uh, a lot of excellent products over at manscaped.com help you uh, stay groomed from bush to tush. Mm-hmm. Thank and Frank. I will be using the uh, shears later on. That that whole pack will be using the tweezers out of it. I got a, a splinter mm-hmm. in my finger, which I need to get out because it is starting to fester a little bit. It just happened earlier today, and it's really getting sore, and so I need to get that out of there. Because, uh, in case you didn't know, this is my trigger finger. And <laughs> I cannot be hindered when I am, uh, quote unquote, busting a cap. <laughs> All right. Turns out there's a T in that phrase, by the way. Busting bust bust, a cap. Busting? I always thought it was just people who were too snooty to put their caps on a plane. Yeah. Yeah. They just put them on a bus. Okay. Like, yeah. I got to have my, my caps bust to wherever the fuck I go. Absolutely. No, it's bust. Oh, okay. I'll be goddamn. Damn it. That's Learn crazy. something new every day. But check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps Mm -hmm. you out, helps us out, and uh, lets Manscaped know that we are doing the commercials word for word. Yeah. Like we are. Don't be a fucking idiot. Yeah. Go with Manscaped. Manscaped. That should be their new slogan. (laughs) Don't be a fucking idiot. Manscaped.com. Don't be a fucking idiot. Shave your balls. Jack off. Yeah. Uh, But we had a lot of sports uh, over the holiday season. uh, The final lot. Uh, well, there was a lot of really important shit, but there's a lot of shit that we wasn't talking FIFA. That yeah, FIFA. Okay, F one. I don't have time for all the sports. See the F one racing? No, we're just talking sports. That, we're talking uh, FIFA. Yeah. Okay, that's not a real sport. What? Soccer? <laughs> no shit. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, you're gonna go. You're gonna go against me on that? I'm not. Okay. I'm, I'm not just going to say anything. I'm just going to sit over here and drink beer. No. Nope. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but before next week's episode, we are going to have the first round of the uh, NCAA college football playoff of 2020. What is it? 2021, 22? I guess is that how you say it now. Yeah, sure. Something like that. We've got uh, Bama going up against Cincinnati and Michigan versus Georgia. So if all three of us are here, uh, who are we picking? Well, first off, I think the real winner of this whole thing is COVID. Sure. Be- because they're canceling bowl games left and right. Sure are. I'm becoming more of a COVID fan myself. I'm yep. thinking about getting a t-shirt, maybe mm-hmm. a hat. Yeah. Yeah, because they're finally getting rid of some of these bullshit the bowls. Stupid bowls. Yes. So. Refrigerator magnet bowl. Yeah. but Get fucked. Out of that playoff, I think I like the Lions. The Lions? Yeah. They should go back and play. Mm-hmm. I had a fan ask. Oh, I bet you they'd mop the fucking floor with college teams. Oh, duh. I had a, I had a, actually a fan ask the questions like, would you, do you think it would be a decent game between the best college football team against the worst NFL team? Don't no, no. They <laughs> did that in baseball and the pirates lost. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was it? That was not long ago. Like I think we were doing the show. Really? Yes. And the pirates lost. I heard the, I think the Royals did that with the uh, Wranglers back in the day too. Yeah. 
but the Wranglers fucking cheated. They brought in a triple-A pitcher, which <laughs> was, was better. And no, and that shit happens all the time. In baseball. And, and it's done on purpose. Uh, the MLB All-Stars go over to Japan in the offseason and play them because it's a goodwill thing, and it wouldn't really be much goodwill if you went and beat the shit out of the home team. <laughs> the they fuck kinda, it wouldn't. They kind of lose. Yeah, this fucking Pearl Harbor, those motherfuckers. That's Get right. <laughs> Absolutely. We're not done bombing your fucking asses, right? Right. We but just took a time out. Mm -hmm. But in all seriousness, I think in baseball, it's a little bit different than it is it, in football. Right? This, this actually used to happen up until the 70s. They used to take the college senior all-stars, and they would play the winner of the Super Bowl from the year the before. The winner of the Super Bowl? The winner of the Super Bowl had Whoa. to play the college all-stars. I don't know about that. And just basically like with any gimmick event like this, the NFL team would toy with them. Sure. And it was, you know, they, they would make it fun. Uh, it finally got, got uh, how do you put it? It, it went out of style because Ridiculous. it started raining hard in the middle of the college all-stars against the Steelers. And the players just left the fucking field <laughs> and decided never to do it again. Oh. It was because it was fucking stupid. Yeah. But I still think that, I mean, that's, you're, you're right. I could see it being more like a Harlem Globetrotters against the Generals again kind of thing. At least when you're getting the All Stars, you can say at least all of those players are NFL caliber sure. players, but it still was never a game. You're talking about a cohesive unit that's played together all the last season. Right. And so, yeah, it was, uh, it was never a real game. Right. So, no, it's a bad idea. No. Uh, but who do you have in the first round of the NCAA college football playoff? Uh, Bama, Cincinnati. Well, it's going to be Bama, but I'm rooting for Cincinnati. I don't think there's anybody sitting at this table that's going to root for Bama. No. Um, and, and Bama will win this, but I think people are going to be very surprised at just how competitive it is. How, I, you're going to get Cincinnati's right. best effort. Bama is probably going to overlook them a little bit. And Maybe. I, I, I bet you at some point later in the game, Cincinnati has the lead at some point. I hope you're right. Uh, that'll give me hope. But, I, again, I, there's nobody at this table that's going to sit here and bet no. that Bama is going to lose against, against Cincinnati. I don't think it's going to happen. No, I, I would love to see it happen. I would lose a bet. Yeah, I would just too. Just to, to make that happen. Right. So whoever loses this bet uh, has to go one-on-one -on -one with David K. Man Rickles. You still have to go one-on-one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just chicken. I'm Twice. Just, no, I just, I'm right. I'm just chicken. Not going to do that. Yeah. Um, but, no, I, I'm going to take Bama, so all of us take Bama. So next game, Michigan against Georgia. Was it? Huh? You just called David a bitch? No, I said I'm, I'm a pretty chicken. Sure Boy, I, I, heard heard I'm I chicken. fucking distinctly heard it. No. He, said, that Dave, he said you are a queer David, little bitch. David's oh, my very friend. loudly audible. Mm -hmm. I can hear it. David's my friend. I wouldn't do that. Uh, but who he you said got? you kick like a rockette. That's what he said. <laughs> which I find very inappropriate. <laughs> uh, next game, who do you got? Michigan against Georgia. I'm going to pick Michigan. Okay. I've got to go Big Ten. You're going to go Harbaugh? Yep, love Harbaugh. Okay. Uh, I think Georgia is going to have a sore ass from beating Bama. Or from losing to Bama uh, over this last couple of we uh, weeks, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take Georgia in this game. Jeremy, I'm also taking Georgia. I know they lost to Bama in the SEC championship game, but I still think Georgia is the most talented team in the country. I do too, and I think that they're it, the thing is is if they win this game and go on to play Bama, mm -hmm. generally you learn a lot more from a loss than you do a win, and I think they're going to kick the shit out of Bama if they make it to that point. That's next week, Jeremy. I think. Yeah. I don't know when the fuck it is, Scotty. <laughs> I'm just matter. saying, if it happens, it's going to be bad. Okay, I agree. There'll be Bama blood. That's right. And and nobody will be upset about it. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> except for a couple I'm, people I'm going to assume Alabama. that people from Alabama will be. Uh, Justin Danger not only will be upset about it. I still may have my sleeper come in there, though. Yep. COVID. Can't say else. <laughs> Got your number 19 jersey and yeah, everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, that's all the college stuff. Let's get on to the professional stuff, the stuff that uh, we pay attention to more than anything, and that is the National Football League. This was the blowout week. There were tons of games that were just absolute blowouts, and I'll start with the game that's most recent. We're, we're currently watching the, uh, the Saints and the Dolphins right now. That one probably is going to turn into a blowout, but it hasn't quite yet. I don't know. Saints got a whopping negative two yards at the start of the second <laughs> they quarter. They sure do. 
Uh, but no, uh, I want to start with the Dallas Cowboys against the Washington football team happened Sunday evening. Holy shit. I turned it off yeah, pretty quick. You yeah. had to. They Boring. Had, they pulled twenty one to seven after the first quarter. Mm-hmm. It was it was it forty two to seven at the end of the half. Oh, did I only watched through the first quarter because it got boring. I needed them to stop Ezekiel Elliott, and if if they didn't pull Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and a lot of the other starters out of that game in the I think it was like the beginning of the third quarter, mm-hmm. I would have got beat. God damn it! Yep. So thank you. Mike McCarthy for making the correct you decision. Fat piece of shit. Thank you, Scotty German, for making the NFL all about you. It is. Nobody gives a it's fuck it's about your fantasy team. It's about the belt. Uh, but another one. I think next week's draft should be the stupidest fucking thing Scotty's going to buy if he wins the championship. <laughs> okay. I hope your stepdad beats you, and I hope he spray paints NWO on that. <laughs> <laughs> he might. Uh, keep in mind, those are two separate occasions. Right. I hope his stepdad beats him. Yes. And just then, physically. And I hope he physically. used to, and I hope he still does, too. Yeah. Nah, he's a good dude. Uh, but the other one I want to talk about, in my opinion, it, probably going to be one of the teams to absolutely mess up uh, a division, which is the Cincinnati Bengals beating the piss out of the Baltimore Ravens. I told you, man. Bengals. Uh, you're right. I've been saying it. You're right. Yeah. 100% correct. Fucking T. Higgins has been a fucking animal it's the crazy. last fucking month yeah the last couple of of games because at the beginning of the season it was the exact opposite it's it was jamar, jamar chase. chase and he was just going off and off and off and then eventually he was starting to get double teamed double covered now t higgins is emerging as like a star and he's huge too i didn't realize he was that big it's almost like a like a Metcalf lock. It's like, is yes. one of them's going to go off? <coughs> yes. Which one's it going to be? That is actually yeah. the exact comparison that I was going to use was Metcalf lock. Oh, that's oh, that Jesus. Back. Yeah, I'd make a different comparison. God yeah. damn you. Shut up. Uh, but that's a team that I think is going to mess up. That's and- almost like a Meredith Two Tall Jones right mm-hmm. there. That is-, <laughs> is that what it is? Both great linebackers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great inside joke. Uh, next one the Chiefs murdering the shit out of the Steelers. Uh, I wasn't surprised. That's eight in a row, I think, for the Chiefs. Yep, yep. Not a good team <laughs> that they beat out of the eight. The Steelers are probably the most respectable team they beat, and the they Steelers. slaughtered. They did, and and the Chiefs picked a good time to start getting hot. Um, I think they're probably going to go into the playoffs as the number one overall seed. I agree. I think they have it right now, don't they? Yeah. Um, they got two more games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know one of them's Denver, who they should win handily, and I don't know who the other Cincinnati one is. Next Cincinnati next week. Cincinnati. Okay. That one actually does scare me a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's it's really hard right now to predict how games are going because this COVID-19 Omicron shit is spreading, and it's taking guys out of games at an alarming rate. I was Go, Going into this week, they didn't think they were going to have Hill. They wound up having him. But Kelsey was out with COVID protocol. Mm-hmm. Um, two other players mm-hmm. out with COVID protocol and Mahomes just did Mahomes shit. He did. He, I'm, it's the best he looked all season. In yeah. my opinion, I'm really hoping the chiefs go to the super bowl. And here's why that's a more realistic chance of Jackson Mahomes and that Brittany broad dying mm-hmm. in a plane crash. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a question. Okay. Say the super bowl is a rematch. A guy asked a guy at work asked me this. Mm-hmm. Say the Super Bowl is a rematch of last year. It's Brady and Mahomes again. Okay. One of the two gets COVID and is in COVID protocol. Mm-hmm. Do they postpone the Super Bowl yes. or do they have it? They postpone it. I don't. I don't know. I don't I, know I'm, what the NFL's policies are going to be. I know at the beginning of the say at, at the season that they were saying that if too many players on a team got COVID and were couldn't play. That they would have to forfeit. Right. They have changed that policy since then. Now that we're getting into games that matter, really matter, matter and mm-hmm. you don't want to have a team not make the playoffs or whatever because they couldn't play because of COVID. Uh, I think that would be a good way for Roger Goodell to get shot in the head. Ooh, <laughs> um, ooh, which, I love that. Yeah, Let's so hope and pray. I would like to see it happen. I would like to see the the Super Bowl be a forfeit, and I don't care on whose part. I would I would want it to be like the Packers and somebody else, and I don't care who it was, and the Packers forfeit. But I, I can't awesome. imagine. See, it'd be hilarious. I can't imagine going into the playoffs with 
you know, and and not having a, having a team have to forfeit. I agree. It's going to be played at some point. It's too it's too much money. There's way too much money that goes for that. Oh yeah, it's a fucking oh, yeah. holiday in America. It's it, that is yes. something that they will not take away. Even if it's for a week or two, they will push that motherfucker off until they have at least a majority of the big names. I, I don't necessarily think they do it if you've got a fucking lineman out or some shit like that. It's going to be if you've got your star players out. I, your starting I think, quarterback. Is it Mahomes. at SoFi this year? Huh? Is it at SoFi this I year? I believe so, yes. Because, I mean, LA. LA probably won't be as, as nearly as affected, but typically when teams get a Super Bowl, it is such an incredible boost to the economy for yeah. like two weeks. And yeah. Then. Uh, L.A., they're just always fucking on. But so. I, I guess, and I'll use Derek's example, if it's if it's Tampa Bay and Kansas City, I don't think they play that game without Travis Kelsey. I think they post. I think that, that. No, they play without Kelsey. Kelsey. They won't play without Mahomes. They won't play without Brady. Yeah, that's what I th- I'm. I don't think they would either. I I don't think they would play without Kelly. That's that's. And what if I'm it's saying. one of them, and, then what? You know and, what I mean? Two. I don't think. I think they just postpone it. One of them. <clears> what do you do? You know what I mean? And I can tell you my personal opinion. If Brady didn't play, I wouldn't want to win a Super Bowl. Oh yeah, me. me with, too. It's one thing if he's hurt, but if he's just out with COVID. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't want to win the, like I'm, that. I'm the same way. Uh, last blowout. Uh, this is the surprise one. Holy shit! The Houston Texas Texans beat the piss out of the the Los Angeles Chargers. They play down to their competition. Oh my god! They couldn't stop Rex Burkhead. Rex fucking Burkhead. You mean the machine, thank, Rex Burkhead? Thank God I got him off of my fantasy football team. <laughs> <laughs> that dude went fucking nuclear, and they couldn't stop him at all. And I, I, they played so much better. <laughs> it, it was it was like shocking to watch that entire game. And yeah. and Herbert didn't. It's so upsetting that I can't stop drinking beer. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's really why I have to drink just to deal with this fucking game. Yeah, I know. It's so fucking frightening to me. Yeah. To think Rex Burkhead might be coming for me. That's true. <laughs> I have nightmares. He's uh, he's he's you know very important. You guys uh, ever get Road Burkhead? Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's makes the trip stuff. go by real fast. It sure does, or it makes it a little bit more dangerous. It sure it does. <laughs> the guy's a fucking machine. That's right. Uh, what happens if he doesn't stop when you do? Well, is that Rex rape? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Uh, next thing to talk about in the NFL, the Jets end up winning the shit bowl over the Jaguars. We're talking J E T S, right? J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. How are they looking in the playoff picture? Not very well. They're mm-hmm. not doing very well. What good. happens if they win out? Enough peop- If enough teams forfeit, they may make it. Let's go Jets. That's right. So if you forfeit in the playoffs, do you give up your playoff yes. spots? Now we're fucking talking. That would be hilarious. Mm-hmm. The The wild card game, you don't have enough t- uh, players to either suit up a team because of, of COVID. Next team up. Next team up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I could do that. I, I could do that. That, that would be fun. Yeah, make it so much more interesting. They would brag about how the Bears made the playoffs again, mm-hmm. and Matt Nagy is re-signed. That's exactly right. And if if they can't get enough teams to fill that game, college all stars. Yeah, they come in. They come in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm not surprised about this at all. I, I think we talked a little bit about this last week. Uh, Zach Wilson is is Zach Wilson a better quarterback than Trevor Lawrence? Uh, I don't think so. No. I, I I actually am going to come out and say he is. I think okay. he's a better quarterback than Trevor. Maybe, Maybe right now? Yes, right now. But overall, talent-wise, no, I don't think potential, he is. Potential, I will agree with you and say Trevor Lawrence has more potential, but uh, I, I I was more impressed the entire game, and I, st- I, I still can't, I can't get behind somebody that only threw one touchdown pass in eight weeks. I, I can't, can't wait I for can't. three years down the road when we can actually accurately analyze this whole thing. I like, agree. This is, yeah. I agree. I do think that the that Zach Wilson is a guy that the Jets can build a team around. I do too. I do too. I think Mac Jones isn't as good as everybody's making him out to be. Mac Jones. No, that's a Patriots? team that's really relying on their defense, defense and yeah. running game. And running mm-hmm. game. That's but right. they are singing his praises though. There are but for a rookie just to come in and be an effective game manager, yeah. which he has been, yeah. That that's a lot to put on a team and he's got them in playoff position. That's mm-hmm. right. Um, Which, for most of you that don't know, doggy. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I, uh, <laughs> not reverse cowboy like everybody thinks. And no. I went with cowboy it's actually, for a reason. It's yes. actually reverse doggy. 
Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a very difficult position to pull off. Yes. Got to have a huge it, dick. It's <laughs> missionary, but you got to keep your knees folded up and keep your hands up in the air. You got to throw your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> I'm glad to uh, actually. They call it the dead dog. Dead dog? <laughs> Woo. Um, I actually be glad you brought up the Cowboys again because I actually have a question. Uh, I brought up the reverse Cowboys. The reverse which Cowboys. Which I believe are the Redskins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no, I had a question uh, because this is uh, this is a reverse Cowboy. Trayvon Diggs has 11 interceptions on this season. Okay. Is he the defensive player of the year? Absolutely. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Isn't there somebody competing for most sacks? Yeah. Uh, like trying to set records for Steelers that. record. Anyway. Uh, and it's T.J. Tra- Watt, isn't it? No, I think it's no? actually another Cowboy, if I remember correctly. Uh, something Lawrence, I thought somebody I for the Steelers was. I'm not sure. I okay. know. Here, here's the deal. The reason why I say I don't think he is is while he has the most interceptions uh, out of any player in a long time, I think the re- like the record is like 14 or something like that in mm-hmm. a 12-game season. Uh, which will never be broken. Was that uh, Jeremy Joseph? Yes. Okay. God um, damn. Fuck he was triple a speedster. God, God damn, damn. He was a speedster. No, I think it was Dance and Don, if I remember right. Who the well, fuck I is mean, Dance and Don? Uh, he was uh, the announcer there for Wichita State for a while. Okay. Yeah. Dance and Don Hall? Yeah. He was just a local DJ. Oh, okay. Maybe he used not. to do the morning show on KKRD 107.3. He yeah. did do the Wichita State games too, though. He did. I thought that was Mike Kennedy. Nope. That's, uh, that's only on the radio. That's actually Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, Jim. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been X'd. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that. God damn. You've been X'd. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because. B-Rat? Yes. <laughs> He's been uh, he's actually been targeted 88 times and he has allowed 51 catches, which is 58 percent for a total of 899 yards, which is a 17.6 yard average. So basically, he either picks it off or it gets exactly. completed. Exactly. So that would be my big bitch. I, I think that there are other defensive players that are more deserving of that award because if this guy doesn't intercept the ball, it's more than likely a, either a first down or a touchdown. My big bitch is Rosie O'Donnell. She is a big bitch. Mine's mm-hmm. my Aunt Sheila. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one. Uh, oh, actually, in the same game, actually, Jonathan Allen throws a punch at teammate Darren Payne on the Washington sideline. I vaguely caught that. Yeah, that was yeah. some... Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know why either. He was pissed. He what, was, do we know why? We don't know why because uh, head coach missing it now. God damn it. Uh, Vern Troyer. Rivera, head coach Rivera, okay. um, was even asked in the in the post game press conference. It was and, Joe Gibbs. Yeah, he was <laughs> he was asked. He's like, what what the hell was the deal? And he didn't really even know all the details yet. He hadn't talked to the players or anything like that. Barely knew that it went on. Just knew that there was a punch that was thrown. And it's just like uh, even the commentators, which was uh, Michaels and whatever his name, uh, I believe the Collins offensive were. line coach got in the middle of it. Yeah, but. Like even then they're saying like well, you're in the middle of a game it's high stress you're you know you're gonna say a lot of things you don't mean mm-hmm. and he was like I've been pushed up against the locker room and you know gotten the shit kicked out of me too it happens um, but not on the field what if it's over the right way to pronounce GIF GIF <laughs> <laughs> the guy that <laughs> motherfucker it's fucking GIF. Pow! That's a peanut butter, you bitch! <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Oh, uh, fuck. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but the last one, before we get on to real shit or horse shit, is the incredible gutsy choice by Matt Nagy to go for the win against Seattle. <laughs> you got to win them when, when you need to there, I guess. Yeah. Uh, We've been gonna- saying it. All basically all season, <laughs> coach of the year. Yeah, the guy's amazing. Uh, He's amazing. I, I, Derek, quick. I don't think you want to lose a guy like that. Mm-mm. I wanted and to this lose goes that all the way game. to the top. Yeah, this goes all the way to the top. You got to keep pace. Yeah, you got to keep him. I mean, that's the dynamic dynamic duo and, right and, there. And this is a this is a unanimous decision on this show. I mean, you mm-hmm. know how many NFL teams pay attention. <laughs> To us, and are, <laughs> are you trying to hang yourself with the microphone cord? But it's uh, a headphone cord, Scotty. Come oh, sorry, on now. headphone cord. My bad. You fucking amateur. But, but you know, it, it, a lot of 
professional teams listen to this show, and they take our advice. Of course they do. Nick yeah. Foles certainly does. He was the winning quarterback, That's, wasn't he? Yeah, sure was. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, what do you think there, uh, Derek? Why <laughs> win that game? <laughs> I, I, God, they Are they mathematically that, eliminated yet? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, even in special ed classes, they're mathematically <laughs> eliminated from the playoffs. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what their record is. Uh, and they've now won five games. Yeah. So I think we're five and ten. It was, that's, a, it was that's amazing. That's half of ten. Mm-hmm. That's right. God it, damn. It, it, was, it was an amazing fucking catch in the end zone, though. It really was. I was I was on our way back from uh, Columbus, Kansas, which is where my wife's family lives, and I was watching the game cast because that's all I could watch. And yeah. Just, no, please don't catch that two-point convert. God damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, that was very disappointing to win that game. Uh-huh. Uh, all it does is it, it slides the Giants back a little farther in the first round uh-huh. and slides us up a little closer in the second – or uh, slides us back farther in the second round. Right. You're going the wrong direction. Yeah, so there's no point in winning that game. I think he's just saying, fuck it. I uh-huh. don't care anymore, which him going off on the refs last week. And then fucking going for two, which, I mean, it's snowing out. It was Bears weather. Yeah. It really was in Seattle, but God damn it. They were, there was talk that he could be fired because now we have the two-week window two-week where window. you can negotiate yep. with head coaches. And at the same time, like, you're excited because I'm like, all right, finally, they're going to fire this motherfucker. But then I'm like, shit, like, that means Ryan Pace is going to pick the next head coach. But if uh-huh. we wait till the end of the season, then maybe they fire both of them. So it's just, I can't, I'm just, I'm in a whirlwind of fucking emotions here. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's my, my thought process, though. I agree with you, and I think, I think if they would have fired Pace now or already or after that game, then I would be worried if I were you, because then I would be Nagy. like, you mean Nagy. yes, yeah. Nagy, yes. Because um, Pace is going to pick the that's next That's exactly right. Or so, they're going to tie the new GM to him like they did with Pace. Okay. Pace got stuck with John Fox. Okay. And then they fired John Fox, and he got to hire his coach, and it was Matt Nagy and his quarterback. Are you talking about Mitch the comedian Trubisky. John Fox? Yeah. Yes. Love him. Mm-hmm. Archibald Barisol? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love that joke. But but I think that you're you're actually probably right. Your initial prediction from the very beginning before this new rule change came out weeks and weeks and weeks ago, I think Nagy, I think Nagy not only finishes out the season – but I think they do it strategically so they can fire Nagy and Pace at the same time. My worry is, is they're going to do what the Bulls did with John Paxson and not fire him, but promote him. So oh. my worry is, is that Ted Phillips, which is the president, is going to retire. They're going to promote stupid ass Ryan Pace to president or vice president of the team, who's going to hire the GM who's probably going to do a terrible job, who's no. going to hire the coach, who's going to do a terrible job. I don't think you can. I don't, not, if you had a winning record and you've, and you've been a staple to that organization for many years, okay, I get that. But the, he has been exactly not that. Yeah, so if I'm telling you now, if he, if he gets promoted, you have to lick my taint. <laughs> No, I'm that's not a bet. Gonna, no, no, I'm not going to do on, that. On the other side, no, if Scott, he, he already said you have to. So I'm, I'm not you, doing it. Sorry, it's not really your choice at this point, is I think, it? I think it is. Yeah. No take backsies. Uh huh. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. Well, no take backsies. <laughs> well, let's move on to real shit or horse. Let's shit. do for Be- fuck's sake. Because what did you just say about Dave Rickles? Uh, God damn, Scotty. <laughs> He does not fuck his own mother. Oh, my God. No. That's wow. horse no. shit. No, no, no. You got some balls on you. No, I did not say that. She is not a nasty bitch. <laughs> God damn. Damn it. She is a saint. <sighs> yeah. She and is. She's a very nice woman. Mm-hmm. While, or at least I'm sure she would be if I ever met her. While we're on this conversation of the Chicago Bears, Jeremy... Um, You're saying that Dave Rickles is like a bear, like a hairy gay man... <laughs> No. That you might meet in a bar who would certainly take advantage of you <laughs> no. and make you his woman. No, I'm good. No, but real shit or horse shit, the Bears coaching or uh, option or, or opportunity okay. is actually worse off than the Jacksonville Jaguars coaching opportunity. Which one's a shittier spot to go into when, when you're a head coach looking for a job? I think the Bears is the worst spot to go. No. It's in disarray. You don't know what's going to happen. The cap is a fucking nightmare. You've got a bunch of aging players and aging defense. Hicks isn't going to be back. Allen Robinson isn't coming back. 
unless you franchise both of them, and they're not going to do that. No, this will be the can't. second time. You can, do, you can do Robinson again, but it ain't going to work out good for you. So, yeah, I think that is a fucking nightmare. In Jacksonville, you have the first round, the number one overall pick in Trevor Lawrence, who, though he is struggling, hasn't been put in a great situation. Mm-hmm. They've got cap room. <clears throat> They've got uh, Etienne. Mm-hmm. who was a top pick who is coming back from his ACL. Yeah. And, and I think you're a receiver away and, and then protect him. Two. I'd say yeah. two. Two good wide receivers Marvin away. Jones is a, is a two, but they've signed him as a one. I don't I, – yeah, but I don't think so that. So I think – And you have the number one pick of next year's draft. Absolutely. I think your situation in Jacksonville is way better. And, and to tack on to that, I, I'd say that, uh, you know – the Bears is a much worse situation is because the Bears at least have some kind of history of being good. I mean, they they were good back in the 80s and 90s, right? They were good in the 80s. and the, Well, 80s, and then they went to the playoffs, uh, and I think they went to the Super Bowl in the 90s. No. No? They were bad in the 90s. Early okay. 2000s. Oh, early 2000s. Yeah, oh, okay, 06, that's, they lost to the Colts. That's, that's what I'm thinking. You're so, thinking Erlacher, Briggs. Right. Yeah. Okay, then. Grossman. But yeah, they, actually, the greats. they have yeah. a winning tradition still to try to uphold. Rex. The the Jacksonville Jaguars do not have such a – you're going to go into a situation where, yes, you're going to have to rebuild. Less pressure. But you have a lot less pressure of doing that. And that's, I think, why um, Urban Meyer lasted as long as he fucking did. He got a lot of, of slack off of that freaking noose that was wrapped around his neck by the end of it. So that's my opinion. How about you, Jeremy? Yeah, I I think Jacksonville is a better place to go. Chicago, as far as, you know, rabid, scathing press goes, is second only to New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As far as all that pressure goes, they have a rabid fan base who basically, if you lose a game, you got Bears fans calling for your fucking job. Mm-hmm. Even if you've won all your other games, if you lose one, they're calling for your fucking job. No, Derek's not that guy. Derek's not good enough to be that guy. Um, okay. But, no, I mean, Derek, Derek knows when enough is enough. Sure. But a lot of Bears fans, they insist on winning every fucking game or the fucking coach should be shot and arrested. But And, and in that order. But Jacksonville, the fans need to be reminded that they have an NFL team. <laughs> most of them don't know, couldn't. Most people in Jacksonville probably couldn't name you most of the fucking roster. They couldn't name you who the starting quarterback is. That's sad. But it, it is, but it's not a it's not an NFL town. Yeah, that's true. I agree. They're cool with half their games going over to London. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, okay, fine. Whatever. We'll have some tea. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's not like we're watching the fucking games anyway. Yeah. I want to know what that concessions are like over there. Mm. The guy walking up and down. Hey, that's a good. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how they are. They're pretentious. <laughs> uh, next you one, got your pretentious side and your cockney side. <laughs> <laughs> next one, uh, we're gonna go with this one. Real shit or horse shit? I have more confidence in the Dallas Cowboys than the Rams, the Bucks, or the Cardinals to ruin the Green Bay Packers' chances of going to a Super Bowl. I'm gonna say horse shit. Okay. I'm back on the Rams. Okay. Really? Yes. Ooh. I'm, I, th- I think that they're going to put it all together. Beckham's starting to get the ball. Yeah. I, they're, I, th- I think, you know, it took a little bit for them to build a little bit of chemistry there. I th- I'm, I'm still going. I'm going back with the Rams. It's not going to be the Cardinals. Okay. The Cardinals are I going c- the wrong way. I can agree with you there. I, I'm going to also say this is horseshit. Uh, I still I understand that they had a great game against the Washington fucking football team. All right, I don't I don't think it's going to be the Cowboys. I'm not as confident as you are uh, in in the Rams. I, I liked the how the running game looked with Sony Michelle. Mm-hmm. I thought he looked great, um, but uh, Stafford didn't look great at all. In fact, he looked pretty bad. Um, but I can never. Ever, ever count out Tom Brady in the fucking playoffs. There's just no way. Hard to do. I, I am more confident. Now, granted, in, in the in the ranking order, I will take the Bucks and the Rams over the Cardinals, and I'll take the Cowboys above the Cardinals. Because if there's any team that's on a downward spiral right now, it's oh, the Arizona fuck. Cardinals. Jeremy? Um. Well, I think you have to look at the Cowboys over the last – what, two decades, their playoff record. Not great. I think they've had one 
One win? I think two, I, if I remember correctly. Let's call it one and a half. One and a half is fine. It's a, it's a gentleman's two. Right. Um, but, I mean, it has not been great. Uh, and, and when you're talking about the Buccaneers, when you're talking about Tom Brady, I have always said this. Lots of teams have beaten Tom Brady in September and October. It's a whole different thing to beat him in January. Mm-hmm. And that is – and Aaron Rodgers has kind of shown that come the NFC Championship game – he'll kill himself. I mean, the, the the Packers just tend to fucking implode once they get to that game. They I tend to make it. it to that game every year, and then they just can't seem to perform. They go limp. Yeah, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I believe I'm looking it up here. I'm trying to see. Uh, games played. I want to say, yeah, and it's just one. He did win one. He's one and two. So... So you want yeah. to fucking challenge me on something else now? No. Fucking I, come at me, Scotty. I, I come at me. I do. You it. don't know a fucking thing. I know fucking football up and down. You don't know shit. True. You cocksucker. <laughs> I'll beat you worse than Rickles is going to. Okay. <laughs> uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. The Arizona Cardinals will lose in the first round of the playoffs because they will not get the number one seat. Who do you think is going to get the number one seat? Uh, the Cowboys out, right out, now? out of the NFC is going to be Green Bay. Okay. And, and it could be the Cowboys. What, Come on, Dallas. What do we think? <laughs> I'm okay with that. What do we think that Arizona's problem is? Um, in all seriousness, the desert. Not having DeAndre Hopkins. Is he going to be back? It's questionable. I would hope so, but he very well may be out. Okay. Um, I. Man, it's just not it's just not the same. And Zach Ertz has been an excellent addition to you know their offense. I mean, in all seriousness, but it's a lot of things. They cannot stop the fucking run to save their lives. Are you saying Zach Ertz is not a a reasonable replacement for Hopkins? Oh, come I on. Mean, he's pretty cool. They're they're a lot alike. Yeah. I've always compared the two. There's a, there's just a lot of things. There are a lot of things that are breaking down that were just so dependable. We're and talking consistent. Bernard Hopkins, right? Bernard, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, the boxer, yeah. Um, Scotty loves boxing. He sure very does. Very, that's really, why he's so willing to take on Rickles. Yeah, mm-hmm. say <laughs> shit about him. He's talking shit. Really, really close to uh, Joe Lewis. But I don't think he's got a glass jaw, Scotty. I don't no. know why you call him glass jaw, <laughs> Dave. No. Uh, but but seriously, there's a lot of things, and I and I do. I really honestly think that the Arizona Cardinals just don't have it uh, the remainder of the season without D Hop. So I'm gonna go. This is uh, some real shit. Okay. There or Jeremy, chime. I don't think they're gonna lose in the first round, but I think that they. Uh, well, I mean, okay. Look at the options. Look what, at the what opponents. Are, where where are they going to wind up? Do you think in the postseason? I think they're going to be second seed. No, I think they're going to be. You know, I think they're actually going to be behind all of the teams I listed before: Dallas, uh, Dallas, Los Angeles Rams, the Bucks. So they're not going to have a pretty uh, route to the Super Bowl. Okay, they've I, lost. I think they've lost. Uh, I want to say four out of the last six games that they've played. And they're ten and five. You know, yeah, but weren't three of those without Kyler Murray? Uh, two of them were. Two of them. So they're two and two, basically with uh, them. You, you may be right. Actually, next, maybe three. Next week they played Dallas. Yeah, at so, Dallas. So there's your there's, there's your way to yeah. find out if you know if they really are shit or in the other the other side it's are is Dallas really that good? Here's what I can tell you is that a lot of our fans think that this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> this is our best comedy <laughs> shit yet. Sorry. Our, we're really analyzing. We're things. analyzing the shit out of this. I don't think they lose first round, but okay. they don't make it to the NFC Championship game. What do you think? Uh, it's pot. Just depending on who they who they play. Who they play? Yeah, I mean, I can't say. I don't know who they're playing. Any of the other teams? That any I of, any of those teams? Yeah, that could be. That's real shit. They're okay. playing the college all stars. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. What? Uh, real shit or horse shit? Cordero Patterson is the biggest Pro Bowl snub of 2021. This was an article. This was what it said in the article. Horseshit. Okay. Roquan Smith is the biggest <laughs> fucking Pro Bowl snub. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You know who? I think this is. I think this is horseshit too. Uh, Josh Allen. Nah, not in the Pro Bowl. I know yeah. he had a couple of rough rough games. He's a, a couple meaning a lot. Yeah, but I I think that still 
that's that's a pro ball cal- or pro bowl caliber quarterback and it doesn't matter cuz it's a game that none of us are going to fucking watch. I thought they level. generally took the quarterbacks of the playoff teams. You generally do and that's kind of why it's a big huge snub. I don't I don't know see why you don't take the guy. But that's maybe fine. he didn't want to go. Maybe he did. That does happen a lot. That's true. Um I Ed Tutal Jones. Tutal Jones. He didn't make it in. Damn it. Again. I forgot. How do they forget about this guy every year? I don't know. But he hasn't played. So fucking what? <laughs> Put him in there. But he still looks good in pads. Yeah. Is he still alive? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Watch him call into the show. <laughs> yeah. And say, like, fuck you guys. I got My ears were burning. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's probably got some kind of a deal that anytime his name is said online, it scans for it and, and it brings it up to him. <laughs> I heard what you guys were saying about me. Thanks, man. To his pager or some mm-hmm. shit like that. Um, I heard you made me a wise man. Yeah. <laughs> you know that fucking thing? That, have you seen that meme about the the Christmas, the nativity scene or whatever, where they're, and it says it looks like two dinosaurs fighting over the in the middle of it with a chainsaw blade in the middle or a no. table saw? Uh-uh. I no. can't unsee it. You've never oh, seen that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I actually have Where it says it looks like it. two Tyrannosaurus Rexes fighting, fighting over, over the a table saw. saw. Yeah. Over table saw. Right. I, I do I do. We're talking about the scene that depicts the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's exactly yes. it. Baby okay. Jesus. Here, two dinosaurs fighting over a table saw. Yeah, look her up. <laughs> I can't I can't unsee can't it. Can't unsee uh, it now. Uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last one. Real shit or horse shit. Dan Campbell, head coach of the Detroit Lions, will take them to the NFL playoffs in the next four years. Poor keep, shit. Keep in mind, they haven't been to the playoffs that long ago. It's been, they've been in the playoffs in 2017, 16-17 uh, season, and the last time they won was in 1992. Yeah, it's horseshit. Really? Yeah. Explain yourself. They're the bottom of that division. They're the worst team in that division. They don't draft well. There's no direction going up. They're stuck with golf. Uh, maybe. N- no way. Maybe. What? Uh, it, how many years has he been coach? One. One. This, this is, this is this his first, first year. First year. So we don't know how he drafts. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Your GM drafts. Uh, right, he, but he, he gets a lot it. of input from the he gets coach a, he gets as far as it. what they need. Mm-hmm. So we don't know how that's necessarily going to go. I'm going to say it right now at this point. They don't have the core. Right. It's it's not like they're just missing a couple of pieces. They need to do some real fucking fancy off season shit. They're missing the whole goddamn game board and one of the dice. <laughs> like, they're, they're missing a lot of they're, pieces. They're yeah. missing one of the dice in this particular game has a fucking popper. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got a spinner and he's missing a die. Uh, this is a four year question. They're uh, playing Monopoly with a cigarette butt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which like by the this. way <laughs> I need to call you on that there. It's not a dice. It's, it's a, a die. die. Come on. Yeah. Jesus. I'm taking my assless chaps and getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Me and Scotty will sit here and play Dungeons and Dragons. That's right. <laughs> uh, I think this is real shit. I, I think, especially with as much passion and everything that he has, I know that's not a whole lot. You don't win football games just because of that, but he really gives you a shit. You win porno awards with it. You sure do. But he he lives and dies and eats and breathes and shits this game, and I think he's going to be the team or he's going to be the head coach that finally makes them relevant in that division. I really do think that. So I'm calling it four years ahead of schedule. He's going to make it, make him a, a playoff team. That's my uh, that's my piece. Or four years of coaching in Detroit may just fucking wear him down. That's possible, and just break his spirit. He's going to go to Jacksonville. Probably he'll go to Chicago and then hang himself. He's going to start coaching community college. (laughs) Some people where I can get some real players. Right. Okay. Well, that's the uh, sports part of this week's episode. Uh, Now we get to have uh, or move on to the fun. Right. Yeah. 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 Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, but we get to have our first time ever having this segment. Jeremy requested it, and believe it or not, some of you actually uh, followed directions. Yes. Good for you. You're actually listening. I never actually thought anybody listening. was. I thought we were more for ambiance. Maybe. But uh, I'm guessing we will be after that fucking last segment. Right. Jesus yeah. Christ, that Thanks. wasn't entertaining at all. No. Uh, but then we're going to call this seg- segment Bad Advice with Jeremy. Oh. 
Am I the only one doing it? I think so. Fair I think so. This I is think this, this, this is your deal, buddy. Um, Great. But I'm all, good at this. In all seriousness, if you do have, uh, if you need some bad advice from Jeremy, mm-hmm. uh, you can send us a message on Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, send us a message. I'll uh, get it. Just write bad advice at the beginning of it, and that way I know what it's in regards to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we had a, a message from uh, at man Charles 91. All right. He wants to know, I need some advice from Jeremy. I'm about to have my very first kid. It's a daughter in February. What advice can I get about being a first time dad? <laughs> okay. What's this guy's name? <laughs> his, his name is man. Charles 91. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I also am a father, and I can tell you one big surprise that you're going to be in for. Once that kid is born, you're going to find out it's surprisingly lazy. They just lay around. They shit themselves. It's not fun. What this kid needs is some discipline and direction in life. I have always said it's never too early to start spanking. (laughs) It's never too early to start degrading. And you teach responsibility. Get that kid a pet. And I'm not talking about a goldfish or a hamster. Big dog. Maybe even an alligator. (laughs) And you make her completely responsible for it. If that dog doesn't get fed, it starves to death, that's on her. (laughs) And you leave that dead dog in the room and you get her another. Until she starts taking on the responsibility of herself. To take care of that animal. That's all the advice that I got. <laughs> Raise her right, man. <laughs> Raise her right. Oh, great. That's excellent. For those of you guys that are watching us, I'm losing my shit because the music in the background was 100% mm-hmm. not staged at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just learned shit, right before we went on the air that this was going to be a real fucking thing. <laughs> Oh, Derek, I give you a uh, I give you a round of applause just for the music. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> make sure to write in next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make sure you write in next week. We need Absolutely. some more of these. These are great. Oh, my goodness. All right, but now moving on to overrated or underrated. We did get some uh, fan suggestions. Again, same place, at Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, TikTok, you can comment them, and uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram uh, or even Twitter uh, as well. Uh, but first one, this is from a fan. This is Josh McEachern or McEachern. I can't uh, Look, read. McEachern. McEachern. Okay, I'll go with that. Josh McEachern. Mc- right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he wants- McNugget. Josh <laughs> McNugget. <laughs> okay, McNugget. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wants to know overrated or underrated crowd surfing. Oh, I'm going to go overrated. Why, Derek? They can't hold me up. <laughs> no, they no, can't. No, as much as they try. The entire crowd couldn't hold you up. I know. Well, I was fucking just slaying at this senior center, and <laughs> I thought this is the time, and God, may they rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> well, you uh, just made it less painful for Also, them. when chicks do it, like, they get groped and shit. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. true. And that's kind of fucking pervy, I guess. Yeah. So I'm going to go with uh, overrated. Oh, they my. got themselves in that situation. They were asking for it. Yeah, they knew what was going on. And there's no water. I've I've only crowd surfed can be. one time, only one time. I'll never forget it. It was at the Cotillion. It was uh, it was uh, I believe it was a world sold cold by uh, Breaking Benjamin, and uh, it was very overrated. Uh, once you get up to the uh, the like the gate right in front of the stage because they just keep on pushing you up there, uh-huh. you kind of get thrown if you don't weigh a whole hell of a lot. They threw me pretty good. Kind of hurt. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go overrated. Okay, Jerry. I'm going to go with overrated as well. Uh, the boards are too expensive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my first complaint about it. What's your brand? Billabong. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. That's the one. <laughs> I go with Hey Dudes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, in, to, to make up for it, I just get myself a piece of three-quarter inch plywood. <laughs> <laughs> Something with a lot of splinters, like what's in my finger right now. You cut, you cut it on your smart table I, saw? I do. Sure do. I hook it up to my phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say that 
maybe one of the the funniest things I've ever seen, or just one of the most amazing things I ever saw, uh, was at one of my first concerts, also at the Cotillion Ballroom. Um, some guy doing this at a Megadeth concert, and uh, the crowd threw him up <laughs> in the air. Uh, I, I'm saying launched his fucking ass. <laughs> And then did not catch him. <laughs> like, parted like the Red Sea <laughs> underneath him. And boy, was he fucking loopy. And I may or may not have stolen that guy's baseball cap. But still. <laughs> it's like a souvenir. It was a different time. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I had no need for a Colorado Buffalo's hat. <laughs> but he still has but it. But he didn't know he had it. <laughs> and he sure didn't know it was gone. Because he got not fucking stupid. But... Still, at my age right now, I'm going to say overrated. It's not anything that I would ever want to do. Okay. Including going to a fucking concert. Right. Um, next one, overrated or underrated, wrapping presents in boxes that do not match the gift. Oh, that's, that's overrated. Really? Yeah, if you're talking about like it's from an Amazon box, are you talking about like getting... A PlayStation 5 box with socks in it. That yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, it's still that. overrated. What? People sell those fucking boxes on eBay for like 60 bucks. Uh -huh. know, it's not worth that much of a to fuck with somebody. Uh, 65, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheap. I won't do that. I'll just get you something shitty and leave it in there. I'll get you a painting. Are you kidding me? No. I buy myself belts just to piss you off. I will spend $65 and shove underwear and socks in that box all day long and it will make me laugh hysterically it is underrated as hell okay jeremy yeah it's overrated it's fucking cheap um <laughs> it's something scotty would do <laughs> that really drives me over the edge mm -hmm. um you know it, it's it's one of those things where i mean if it's just you need a box to put it in and you know like if you put it in a fucking shoe box and that person didn't ask for shoes obviously they're they're going to know it's a an old used shoe box mm -hmm. but like if say they wanted a ps5 and you wrapped it in a ps5 box and that's not what's in there that's a fucking jerk off thing to do and i'm going to i'm going to compare it to what i think is one of the biggest piece of shit things you can ever do to somebody you seen those the fake scratch off lottery tickets? Yeah. yeah, that is the fucking cruelest thing you can ever do to somebody. And this is just a total like toned down version of that. Okay, that or the twenty dollar Jesus tip or a hundred dollar Jesus tip where on the table is to a server where they think they got a hundred dollar bill and then yeah. they open it up and it's like, oh well, this isn't money, but you can find eternal happiness with yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's that's totally a douche move. Um, next one. Overrated or underrated, throwing big rocks into a body of water. Very underrated if you do it next to somebody that's fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, does that piss them off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting so sick and tired of these fucking TikToks of people that just start off a video that say, for my, for my male followers or some shit like that, and they just... I mean, a huge fucking rock out into a lake, and it splashes. And I watched the whole fucking video and like that motherfucker. It's underrated. What TikToks are you watching? You know, there's <laughs> there's ones of dogs doing cute things and people dancing. I see those. I, I don't see the rock water videos. Oh, you don't? No. Uh, equally, uh, there's another one, which is... Uh, I think they, I have good TikTok. No, no, no. There's other ones, too. It says, for my male followers, and it's like somebody who has like a... I don't know, like a water trough sitting outside to, to like water the horses and shit. And it, mm -hmm. it has a whole sheet of ice and they just pick it up and throw it out in the middle of the street and watch it shatter. Okay. Same concept. I guess. Yeah. Um, I can tell you this a as a man seeing things break or blow up or whatever is fucking funny. Every time, if you ever shoot a watermelon with a shotgun, fuck yeah. Oh fuck. There's nothing that cracks you up more. And I don't know why. Or just blowing things up with fireworks. That, that's also funny, and I don't know why, but yeah. I will crack up laughing at it. Yeah, or putting Tanner right in a cat's asshole. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. You you have to shoot it then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that seems like kind of a waste of Tannerite because it's a step one. <laughs> you use a high-powered rifle, that cat's going to just 
blow up anyway. <laughs> That's a step one. Well, yeah, but it's 4th of July. By the way, Charles, these are all good tips for raising your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that up. Yeah. But but uh, I have not uh, seen this particular one. We're not talking about skipping stones, right? Nope. Okay. Um, Big, huge kerplunk. All right. Well, uh, I'm still going to go it's overrated because I don't give a fuck. The, uh, like here, how it's about, overrated, Scotty. Move on. Can I have one more question about this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Like we didn't spend enough time analyzing the fucking Cowboys. No, Go ahead. This is a legitimate question. So what if you throw... It's pronounced GIF! <laughs> 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 what if you throw it off a really like tall like dam into the water? So is you're, it a goddamn? Yep, goddamn. What if you throw it off a dam into, into water? So it's fallen for a long time. Can you watch that? Yeah. Okay. Great. Just make sure. It, just, the fact that I can watch it doesn't mean that I like it. Oh, okay. I, I can, fair enough. I've watched soap operas before. I mean, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I didn't like that. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Pretending the shopping cart is a bobsled. Overrated. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't get in a shopping cart. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't think I can lift my leg that high. I don't think I can be crowd surfed into one. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, and that's just asking to fucking get all fucked up. Because, like, if you go in the shopping cart as a bobsled, I am going to fucking push that thing <laughs> mm-hmm. as hard as I can into a curb near yeah. a river. Actually, I go underrated. It will underrated be on that. <laughs> Let's go to Walmart. Yeah, the one the by the river. Best workout that I've ever had. I will put more effort into that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Like, how'd you get into shape? Mm-hmm. Jesus, I saw you two weeks ago. You're a fat slob. Now you're Jack. <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Yeah. I have found the secret workout. Yeah. My friend got in the shopping cart. There was a fucking Chevy truck with big tires on it. <laughs> it was like the fucking perfect marriage right there. <laughs> it's like I inspiration. Chase that thing with a, a fashioned a lasso out of a yeah. CVS mm-hmm. receipt. <laughs> trying to loop the tail hitch. Yeah. Now I do other things with shopping carts just to make my wife never want to take me grocery shopping. Hit her in the ankles. No. Okay. No, I'm not an asshole, that's Scotty. A, no, that's a no. I I will killer. I will fucking like go into fishtail slides around yes. corners with it and make the noise. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, big time. I will also pick it up and carry it <laughs> <laughs> just to fuck with it. <laughs> I will push it sideways mm-hmm. and just skid it along the fucking deal. But as far as putting somebody in there, um, unless it's a baby, Charles, <laughs> I wouldn't do this. <laughs> yeah. But you got to let go, man. Yeah, you got to let go. When it comes go. to kids, you got to let go sometimes. Of them in the shopping cart when you're mm. going yes, really fast. Yes, that's what I'm getting at, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for fucking explaining Sorry. what was an obvious joke. I didn't catch it. Uh, I'm gonna go. With this is underrated. I, I'm I'm always the brake man. I'm always the guy that's like pushing the person inside the car. You're the sank of like, coffee. Gotcha. I'm the sank of coffee. That's right. Are you dead? Please say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on. All right. Uh, last one. This is actually um in regards to this episode. This is our three year anniversary of this show, boys. This is actually it's our next one. Well, it's kind of this one. It actually the um. The next one will actually officially be on our three-year anniversary. <laughs> Is it really? But yeah. Okay. So just uh, skip on passes. Yeah. Uh, but no, <laughs> this uh, this one is about our show. This is from a fan. He wants to know. Uh, this is uh, Ben uh, Aronoff. He mm-hmm. wants to know, overrated or underrated, the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Overrated. Fuck. Any, anything with you on it is way overrated. Yeah. And now the Laughing on the Sidelines perspective <laughs> Way fucking underrated. underrated. That's the best podcast out there. I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you guys should check that out. Yep, great. I think it's underrated. It's on Mondays at about ten fifteen. I think our show is way underrated. Uh, I, I've I've met off uh, off personality or whatever. I've I've met two two friends. I'll always have. Where so are they? They're they're. Is it this horse? Yeah, it's this horse. It's, it's, isn't the, it? it's the horse and uh, the pocky chip. No, that's not a very good friend. Uh, Woo shock right here. I'll Jesus take that. Christ. My belt. It's my belt. I'll take the belt and the horse. You know what? I want to go like my father used to, turn you <laughs> over my them. knee and beat the <laughs> shit out of you with that <laughs> fucking belt. Them. Take yeah. them and go somewhere else with them, please. <laughs> uh, but no, it's underrated. I uh, love you guys. Jeremy? It's overrated. Um, 
we don't deserve to have an audience as large as we have. <laughs> uh, we're not talented. We're not clever. Uh, for the most part, we're just jackasses, and uh, people should not pay attention to us, and yet for some reason they do. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it gives us a platform to do all kinds of comedy, and I'm going to do uh, some impressions now. Here's my impression <laughs> of Jeremy Rush. I got to pee. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our questions and preguntas. <laughs> Jeremy had to go to the restroom, so we paused. Number one. Two? No, one. Oh. It's weird because this is a one bedroom house and your wife was in there. Oh. And I was able to just like pee between her legs. It oh, was weird. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> <laughs> it was really a lot of multitasking. That's, really. We got some things done. That's impressive. This is how you make things happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now it we was weird to... that I had to kick the door open. Right. And she wanted a kiss afterwards. Mm hmm. Right. Um, okay. So, first. Uh, Happy to oblige. Thanks, man. Sure. Uh, first question. Um, what? First question is going What's to. What's the question? For I'm fuck's sake. God damn it. Okay. We're leaving you alone to do this and you keep fucking off. Okay. Uh, first question is what bizarre ways to describe the tastes of a glass of wine. All right. Mm -hmm. That tastes a little wet <laughs> with a hint of yellow. And I get a nice finish of dog queef. <laughs> oh, no. That was kind of close to mine, actually. Uh, if you put dog queef in yours, <laughs> Derek is going to get will up be sued and for plagiarism because you obviously looked over at Derek's hand. <laughs> no, no, I said uh, that has some loneliness, a hint of depression, and a lot of suicide. Yeah, that's real similar. <laughs> sort of. Derek, Jeremy, sorry. There's a hint of very aggressive horseradish. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe a bit of cinnamon toast. <laughs> what? You know. No. Well, then I, I guess. Know. Look, if, if you don't know, then I guess you don't know. Okay. I that's, guess it, that's Franzia all day. It's a white thing, Scotty. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's Franzia okay. all day. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that box wine. Yeah. That's that. Uh, oh, what's that? Fucking Osti Spumante. Mm. Fucking cheap ass champagne shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, next one. This what? is a, this is a fan's what now? question. This is damn it, uh, I'll answer. Fine. Jesse G wants to know what's a random fact that you will never forget. I heard about it over Christmas. Okay, soaking. Huh? You guys know what soaking is? Like in a tub? No. Apparently, this is a Mormon thing. <laughs> You're not allowed to have sex, but you can penetrate. You just can't thrust. So you just put your penis in the vagina, <laughs> and it stays there. <laughs> or you can get a little bit more adventurous and have a friend come over and jump up and down on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not technically thrusting, <laughs> but you can still climax. <laughs> oh, wow. I learned that. <laughs> Are you and, sure that that's Mormon and not Amish? And I Googled it. Or Amish. Maybe it was Amish. No, it was Mormon. It was Mormon. It was Mormon? Yes. Okay. Yes, it was Mormon. And I Googled it, and he was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So that is a random fact I'll never forget. Right up there with the old side pocket. <laughs> okay. Uh, mine. Can, can I comment on that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Because they're, okay, Amish communities, mm -hmm. there's something like this as well. Because Amish communities are very, very tight knit, and typically people who stay in Amish communities don't leave Amish communities, and you don't get new people come into them. As a result, the gene pool is very shallow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So they put out like ads in the paper and online for fresh seed, and you, they will pay you to come. And, Literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you basically have to get yourself to the point of climax and then put it in. <laughs> I learned this. Apparently, Pat McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall if it was him or one of his teammates in college. Oh, God. Had done this. And apparently, the husband stays there the whole time that you're getting yourself there <laughs> to make sure that there's nothing 
you know, passionate about it. And there's a lot of hair. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, what if she just... I mean, yeah, does does she... Because if she's of any real age, they're not just raring to go down there. You got to... Oh. Moisten things up. <laughs> they definitely don't have a lawnmower 4.0. Well, obviously not. They don't have electricity. <laughs> well, Come on, I, that's battery powered. Yeah, but how are you gonna charge it? I they wouldn't know. know what to do with that fucking adjustable light. Yeah, but it's wireless. Yeah, I, I like to think that the Amish go with the 3.0 because that adjustable <laughs> light is just too too technologically advanced right. for their liking. They're more of a 1.0. Yeah. <laughs> what are we Mennonites? Yeah. <laughs> It's just a fucking knife mm-hmm. with a candle on the top of it. <laughs> it's, An it's adjustable one, candle. It's a candle. candle. <laughs> it's a candle Labra. It's yeah. it's that three. <laughs> it's like what Lumiere is. Yeah. Whatever the fuck. Okay. Hmm? Uh, what's uh, let's see. What what was a random fact that you'll never forget? Well, now this. Uh, see? But uh, I'll never forget from this show. I learned something. And it was that uh, Jackie Robinson didn't break the color barrier. Mm -hmm. Eddie Klepp did. Eddie Klepp, yes. Yeah. So I'll never forget that. All right. Jeremy? Great. Um, (laughs) This is so fucking weird because to me they're not random because I have all kinds of these fucking facts. That's all you think of. It's hard to to remember what they are until, like, something jars your memory. Mm -hmm. Um, Based off of just recent activities... Uh, I do know that the average maximum potential capacity of a human bladder is right around six liters. Holy shit. About a gallon and a half of pee a bladder is capable of holding before it bursts. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. That's nowhere near what came out just now. (laughs) Typically, you start feeling it well before that point, but it is very elastic and can stretch. Wow. Mm All right. All right. Next question. This one is uh, not a fan question. Uh, question is, bad segues following tragic news stories. Okay. You want me to go? What's that noise? It's the computer. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll go with mine. I'll be like, uh, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, unfortunately, we have found new evidence. Uh, we have now found that there was a, another accomplice for the Oklahoma City bombing. Um, but in new news, uh, make sure you visit the boom, boom, 4th of July store and buy your fireworks. Okay. Great. Okay. All right. There. The boy was kidnapped eight days ago and there are still no leads. In other news, Halloween is fast approaching. After the break, we'll hear about the candy that your kids just can't say no to. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I like it. How about you, Jeremy? After the collision, there were over a dozen dead chickens and over 50 people passed. And in speaking of past, trainers out at the zoo say that an an orangutan named Jojo has just passed a spelling test at a fourth grade level. (laughs) (laughs) How about that? (laughs) Very good. Will wonders never cease. Right. Uh, Next one. Unusual (laughs) phrases to be teaching people who don't speak English. Do you mind if I could shit your pants? <laughs> That's all I got. Mine's pretty damn easy. Yeah. Try it now. Okay. Every time. <laughs> you could just teach them that. Wake, walk around, and have a full blown conversation with people. Sort sure. Of, you know, your kid would be Tim Grubbs. <laughs> really? Or that would be the guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, for Tim sure. Tim Grubbs does that all the time. I'm sure he does. He walks Try it now. Try it now. Every time I see Tim Absolutely. Grubbs. Absolutely. Yeah. Try it now. Try it now. I fucking love it. Yep. Oh, did he hear that story? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I liked him. The yeah. fucking very next day. <laughs> Try it now. <laughs> I didn't realize he listened to the show. Yes, yeah. he does. All yeah. the goddamn. He also has poor taste. <laughs> he sure does. <laughs> love Tim. He, he's one of our undeserved listeners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love Tim Grubbs. You can so do so much better, Tim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Where is the children's smoking section? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's more like it. I Way like it. Way better than mine. Mine sucked. All right. Sir, this is an airplane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where can my kids smoke? Yep. Yeah. Uh, but 
actually, this is, uh, like I said, the the three-year anniversary of this show. Next week? No, it's now. It's just the weeks are fucked up because, you know, whatever, playoffs stuff. Uh, but the next and last question is, over the last three years, what has been your favorite moment while um, doing the show? All right. Mine's pretty recent. Okay. Jeremy's band names. <laughs> the fucking stinky Twinkies. <laughs> I I have actually, I texted Jeremy on two, Clan's gender. <laughs> on, <laughs> on two, like days later, I just text Jeremy and go, the fucking stinky Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> that. I know that we talked about possibly being the drunk pack of cigarettes, which I laugh very hard at, but God damn, some of those band names. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Clan's gender made me cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that was one I went home and told the wife about. Yeah. I, and multiple people. Like, you got to hear this. <laughs> uh, Speaking of which, out at the Cedric County Landfill this week, and you can come out and see Honky Dong. <laughs> 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 Tickets uh, are only seventy five dollars, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that's that's a good one. I I have two. One of them uh, Derek mentioned, which was uh, if you could have your own mascot, what would it be? And she says a drunk pack of cigarettes. Oh my god! That's that's one of the best ones. I'm cool and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> What was the second part? I'm cool and smooth. But yeah. I what was it? I don't I don't know. I'm bad for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. I'm unhealthy, I'm bad for you, I don't smell good. Yeah. But I'm cool and smooth. But I'm cool, cool and smooth. smooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you told me to elaborate and I didn't have anything else. I I didn't expect the uh drunk pack of cigarettes to elicit the response again. <laughs> And yet it did. Uh, yep. mm. uh, but in all seriousness, my favorite moment of all time was probably the nicest thing these two jackasses have ever done for me personally. Uh, they reached out to my hero, Ozzy Smith, and uh, got him to roast me as the uh, podcast host of this show. It it was I couldn't fucking believe it. That was the craziest moment of uh, me doing this show. And my favorite. I can't believe he wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> And only after we paid him money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turns out things aren't so good for Ozzy Smith these days. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I have a tie. Okay. Every time Derek says, keep laughing, asshole. <laughs> okay. That's really my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, as far as times that made me laugh, when we just we got onto the fucking stank wrists, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just something about how stupid that fucking scenario was. <laughs> Cuz that's the kind of stuff that makes me laugh is when things are so fucking ridiculous and stupid. That's that's yeah. my kind of humor. Yeah. <laughs> and so I loved it. Okay. All right. Um well, Other than guys, that is to keep laughing assholes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now we get to move on. That was our questions. I'm sorry. Uh, if you do have any questions that you would like to submit to us that we may use on the show, uh, if we do, we'll uh, give you a shout out like we always do. Um, but if you do have any suggestions as of right now, you can make comments in, on TikToks. That helps. Um, but also you can send them to our Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. Do us a favor and go follow us there. Uh, also on Twitter, which is at Sidliners Pod. Um, a lot of the stuff that we don't put on those other apps because they don't like us, uh, we end up putting on there. So I would uh, keep your eyes peeled for the racist parrot coming soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and can I make an apology and a correction? Okay. When it comes down to the, uh, the weird facts mm -hmm. that we know, um, I had said uh, a couple of weeks ago about the farting in the spacesuit. Uh-huh. That uh, it was on Apollo 15. It was Apollo 16. Okay. And uh, it was John Young said it to uh, uh, Charlie Duke. Okay. And he said, uh, Charlie, it happened again. I got the farts. <laughs> <laughs> he said, really? He goes, yeah, I, never, I haven't eaten so much citrus fruit in 20 years. <laughs> and in 12 days when we get back, I'm never fucking eating it again. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Uh, 16, this is Houston. You got a hot mic. <laughs> oh, damn it. How long has that been going on? 
<laughs> that is the transcript from that. So really, yeah. I'll yep. be darn. All right. I got in a little trouble after that. Nah, that's okay. Well, yeah. thank you guys very much uh, for submitting your questions. Again, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on any of our platforms. We do actually pay, pay attention to that. But now we get to move on to uh, everybody else's favorite part of the show. This is what we like to call the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines draft. And this, uh, who, well, how do, how do we do last week? I don't fucking know. Uh, Jeremy won. Yeah. He he won big time. Um, do you want to guess what place I got there? The last? No fucking way. It shocked me. Yeah, you always get last. You suck, Scotty. I'm, I'm just more, fucking suck. <laughs> I'm just more pumped that uh, you didn't win. Whatever, draft bitch. <laughs> um, Enjoy that first pick, ho. Yeah, but it was just, you know, it's it's whatever. Uh, but this week's draft, uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we are going to do our favorite discontinued foods and drinks, like from the grocery store. Okay. 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 Uh, I get the first pick, and I don't know what I fucking want. I got two. Um, I, th- I think I'm going to have to go, ah, damn it. I'm going to have to go with it. I'm sorry, Derek. I'm going to have to go with Dunkaroos. You bitch. I'm sorry. I gave you the idea. No, that was the first thing that popped in <laughs> my head. I don't know what these are. <laughs> <laughs> they're awesome. They have a little kangaroo on the front of it and you, they're like little cookies that you dipped into chocolate and stuff. So, oh, those. Yeah. Yeah. You can have that. Okay. Take it. All Derek. right. Derek, you get second pick, sir. I'm going to go with uh, Planter's Cheese Balls. Okay. Planter's Cheese Balls. Those were the shit. Okay. Were they basically cheese puffs with No, they were little balls. They were they, I don't know, they weren't they didn't have the same they were fucking legit. Like smaller than Scotty's balls? Way smaller. No, yeah, about the same size. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Fair enough. <laughs> on an average day. On yeah. a cold yeah. day, they're big. <clears throat> sure. Okay. How about you there, Jeremy? You get two. Uh, Quisp cereal. Quisp cereal. Quisp. With a okay. K? Q. Q-U-I-S-P. Oh. Q-U-I-S-P. Okay. okay. Was that something back in like the 70s or something? 80s. Okay. Probably 70s too. Ah. It, it was around for a long time. They were, it was like Captain Crunch, but they were in these little discs. Okay. And it was this weird alien, I believe with a propeller beanie. Oh, I'll be darn. Um, Get two. So anyways, yeah, there was that. And uh, I'm going to go with Jello Pudding Pops. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Just because everybody's hero was the spokesperson. Of course, I'm talking Bill Cosby. <laughs> I didn't think anybody would go with it. I thought I could sneak it. Steal it in the back end. All uh, right. Uh, Derek, you get two. No, I get one. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're in the middle. You're just used to me being the champ. This is true. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, High C Ecto Cooler. Okay. Cooler. Carry your beers in it? No, it was a fucking... I know. I'm fucking kidding. Calm down. Jesus. You put the ecto you, on there, though. You know, Scotty, it's... That's the important part is ecto. To, people should know when you're joking. I know, but they don't. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with the uh, 3D Doritos. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go with Squeeze It. Okay. You can squeeze it anytime you want. I'm sure bitch. I can. Yep. You put the little caps. You took the caps and you put them in your mouth, and you it, they were like Is a mouth. You did, yeah. Okay. Training. All right. How about you, Derek? You get one. I'm gonna go with uh, waffle crisp. I mm, that I was good shit. I fucking love that shit. Fuck yeah, that was good it. shit. Oh my god. I never had it. Oh, you missed out. I As a cereal connoisseur, I can tell you <laughs> that was better okay. than cinnamon toast crunch. I think there there was waffle crisp, and then there was waffle O's. Um, I think it was basically like Wego, Legos, uh, Egos made one, yeah, and then uh, Log Cabin made the other, but uh, they were both basically the same shit and they were both really fucking good, okay? Uh, Jeremy, you get two. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Lay's Wow Chips, Lay's Wow Chips, okay? Uh, those had a special place in my heart because they were basically cooked, they were fried in a fat substitute called Olestra, oh, and it was one of those things that somehow. F- Passed all the FDA guidelines, and it turns out one of the huge side effects of it is abdominal cramping 
and uncontrollable explosive diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't get caught in the lab. I don't know how. Uh, but yeah, they were. It was bad. It was real bad. They had to recall all of it. Oh, that sucks. And then I'm going to go with Crystal Pepsi. Okay. Yeah. I, I was wondering when somebody was going to get one of those. There's another one. Well, now you know, don't you? Uh-huh. Jackass. Derek, you get one. I won't be a dick and take the other one. Uh, I will go with Butterfinger BBs. Okay. I forgot about those. Ah, oh, that's a that's a fucking good one. Kudos on you. I know, right? Um, all right. I I think yeah. I yeah, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> uh I'm gonna take I think I think I'm gonna take Surge. I know you are. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, I get left it for you. I know. I, I, if I would drafted something else, like something that I really wanted, I, I would definitely. I'm not going to fucking win anyway. So Zena. that, that was uh, <clears throat> that was Coke's Mountain Dew, wasn't it? Yeah, Orange flavored Kinda, yeah. green, yeah. green soda. Y- yeah, and I think it was a fully loaded citrus soda with carbos. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it made you piss green. Not me. I think you, you might want to get looked at. Yeah. You didn't drink enough of them. It's like, you know, if you sure. eat too many Doritos, your dick bleeds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. No. I did not know that. Are you Nicki Minaj's cousin? I've got <laughs> I've got two that a lot of people were probably going to know, but I, I got to be honest. I, uh, no, I can't take that. There's too many jokes that go along with it that I'm going to get made fun of. Uh, never mind. Fuck it. Cream savers. Okay. Those were awesome. The strawberry flavored were the shit. Were those the Werther's? Yeah. 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 They were right. fucking awesome. Yeah. The strawberries and cream. I actually Fuck like those, and yeah. I hate strawberry. Yeah. The one I'm, I want to pick, I'm not going to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I don't think anybody's going to know what it is. Same thing. That's my last pick. I, I, I uh, some, so some. I'm going to go with the Reese's Cookie Cup. Reese's Cookie Cup. Mm. The peanut butter cup that had yep. like the chocolate wafer cookie on the bottom of it. Okay. Okay. There've been a lot of fucking candy bars that have come and gone. Yeah, I know. That my bit my favorite one is I'll let you go and then I'll tell you what mine was. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is more it doesn't have to be like a specific thing. It can just be a general snack cuz you can't oh, get these anymore. Fuck. For political correct reasons. Candy cigarettes. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. You can? Yeah, they got They them call in, them something else. They yeah, they're something. Nut house. They're in little cigarette packs. Uh, really? Yeah, you can get them in Okay, but they're house. not they're they're not commonplace. Yeah, you, you can't, can't go get to the them gas in stores station. anymore. And I'm sure that they're just going off of their old supply because mm-hmm. I don't think those things could ever go bad. Yeah. They, they went <laughs> bad when they made them. They weren't good. But I just love the fact that you could walk around as a kid with a pack of lucky strikes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, um I got a question because this because I don't want to answer it. That was your I last do tip. not want to answer it. Do they still fucking have fun dip? Yeah, they do. Okay. Oh, I thought about that all of a sudden. Okay. What, I have absolutely fucking what was no one, idea if what they was still the, have fun dip or not. Oh, you really don't? I don't. God I damn it. Answered it with confidence, and that's all you gotta do. I don't know if they do or not. Okay, so what was I'm yours? Sure they do. What was I, the what I, was the one that you had? I had well one the one one I didn't pick was Fritos Texas Grill, which was a type yeah. of Fritos that were fucking good, but the candy bar was called Mr. Big. It was Shaquille O'Neal's candy bar. Okay. And it was fucking delicious. Really? Yes. What 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 kind of flavors are we talking? I can't fucking was remember. Chocolate, right? peanut butter, it was chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then whatchamacallit used to had a thing uh, called a are thingamajig. Are they still around? Whatchamacallits are. Are they? Okay. So Mr. Big, I know it had nougat. Let me see. <laughs> of course it did. What if it was just all nougat? <laughs> just straight nougat. <laughs> there it is. The nougat. Oh, you can. Can you get them on Amazon? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done this draft a long time ago. Oh, wait a minute. It's Cadbury. It looks now. like a payday. There's no Shack photo on it now. Oh darn it! That sucks. Because I know, I know for a fact the one that I was gonna draft, but I knew that nobody would know what the fuck it was. Is a drink that you definitely cannot get, and I don't know why it was fucking Shasta. Oh, fuck. You want a Shasta? No. Oh, it it was a drink made by Snapple, and it was called Elements, and it had all of the quote unquote elements it had uh, my favorite was rain and it was like cactus water and it was it was so awesome but the best part about it was it wasn't a see-through container 
it was it was actually like metal, so you couldn't see through it, and I would use that to uh, spit in while I chewed in class. Okay. But the drink was awesome, too. That was the Mr. Big there. There you go. Huh. That thing was the shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that. I'm trying to remember what the fuck was in it. How about you, Jeremy? So did, did have they anyone? have 118 different flavors? No. Because that's how many elements there are. No. Oh, no. But they had a whole bunch. Like, they were called, like, rain, fire, gravity. There was a whole bunch of weird ones, right. too. But it didn't go off the periodic table. No. Not the real Not elements. Not the real elements. What but if they made, they had Goldschlager? Yeah. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> that was one. <clears throat> uh, but no, uh, that was one I, I would have picked. Most of mine are 70s. No. <laughs> no, you fucking jerk off. <laughs> uh were fast food ones that apparently you guys disqualify. We will do it. A, we'll do a different draft for those. You guys don't know the ones I know. Uh, you're right. You don't know anything I know. This is true. You've been around a lot longer. I, I can I can give you two right now. Okay. One, the McPizza. <laughs> yeah. This was a real thing. Uh-huh. It was a basically a Hot Pocket. <laughs> McDonald's version of a Hot Pocket before Hot Pockets were a thing. The other was more recent. The KFC Double Down. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that was a chicken that, sandwich that, with, that wasn't a bun. It was just bun. chicken for the buns. Yeah. Two chicken patties with like a piece of bacon and some dressing in between. Yeah. And it was basically just a fuck you to your health. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat healthy? Eat shit. Here's fucking two fried chicken pieces. <laughs> no bones. Gonna... Yeah. And, and one time I ordered this at a uh, KFC. And this is how... I realized that the next generation after me was fucking retarded. That's your guys' generation, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Um, I asked, I saw that there was some kind of sauce on it, and I hate mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. And she said, it's not mayonnaise, it's colonial sauce. <laughs> That's pronounced colonel in your world, lady. <laughs> colonial doesn't mean anything. Colonel does. Ah. <laughs> uh, Colonial is a word, isn't it? <laughs> colonial is a word, but yeah. that doesn't make like sense architecture, with, with colonial KFC. architecture. Right, right yeah. but that doesn't make any sense with uh, I got KFC it. shit. Yeah. Colonel <laughs> does. It was founded by a colonel. <laughs> it's right. Not a real colonel, by the way. I know. Uh, what do you mean you know? You don't know shit about Colonel Sanders. And by the way, I'm still kind of your generation. Scotty would be... The oh yeah, after yeah. You. This is. Thanks. In fact, she made sure to tell me when I ordered. By the way, I'm good friends with Scotty German, <laughs> and it's it's colonial sauce. <laughs> she said it. Thanks. I don't know why she put that shit in there. No I idea. Don't. I'll be done. All right, guys. Well, that is our draft for this week. Uh, I will put it up on Facebook on Wednesday before the lunch hour, where you can vote on your favorite list of discontinued foods and drinks. Okay. Um, use the uh, cor- corresponding emoji uh, for the list that you like the best. Uh, pick the angry face. All right. Actually, don't. It's more fun if I lose. All right. So, uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Um, this is going to be a short and sweet one. Uh, on April 7th, 1894, there was an explosion at a fireworks factory in Petersburg, Virginia. Uh, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, an explosion could be heard. A lot of people fled the building, but uh, three guys went back in to try and help uh, get some other people out of it. Fifteen minutes later, there was a secondary explosion, and all three were killed. Overall, there were at least 12 people who died, and uh, over 40 more were injured. Nobody knows exactly what caused it, but I think it's safe to say either a fire or a spark, and some of the fireworks shit had a lot to do with it. And yeah. now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this week's shitty situation is, would you rather... Be the guy that's jumping on the bed while someone is soaking. (laughs) Or would you rather go to a fishing tournament? We're talking Bass Pro Shop level here. 
and be the guy that's throwing large rocks near the fisherman's lines. <laughs> Fuck. That's some shit I want to see in the new Jackass movie. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. That would be akin to honking the air horn while somebody's golfing. Yeah, yeah. at a PGA uh, tournament. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. You know, most of those fishermen probably don't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I guess I'm jumping on the bed. <laughs> and I don't exercise, but that just goes to show how much those fishermen don't fuck around. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe just observing it would just, you're not, that's a story that you could, well, both are stories that you could fucking tell for the rest of your life. Oh, but. for sure. But see, here's the deal. Like when you initially start thinking about this, you're going, I want to be the asshole at the Bass Pro Tournament, throwing rocks and pissing people off. Here's what you don't think about. Those fishermen are outdoorsmen. Outdoorsmen carry guns, and uh, they might shoot you. What if What if you were the guy jumping on the bed, right, mm-hmm. and it didn't work out with that couple? Yeah. And you, but that's how you met your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had to tell that story about, hey, how'd you two meet? Uh, yeah. Well, you guys and you're heard brutally of, honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ever heard of soaking? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm jumping on the bed. Well, I was with his brother. <laughs> we weren't fucking. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, just soaking. <laughs> and Scotty was jumping on the bed. How about you, Jeremy? My turn? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Here's the thing. <laughs> yes. When it comes to putting all the work it takes into sex... I don't like putting all that in even when I get the payout. (laughs) Now you expect me to put in that same level of effort to shake the bed and I don't get the fucking payout? (laughs) Fuck that. At least in the fishing tournament, I can use the, I was here first, bro. (laughs) Excuse. I I know you're doing your job. This is how you make your living, but dude. You know, dibs. first dibs. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I got important shit to do here too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's fucking good shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well, guys, happy three year anniversary. Um, it's next week, but what, yeah, whatever. I didn't it's even not, get you guys a centaur painting. I yeah, you should have. You really should have. I was going to get you guys a belt, but yeah, whatever. No, don't worry about it. One's enough for the, all three of us because we're all we're all. Uh, we're can all, we all agree? One too many? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I think we're in agreement. We are hmm. all champions, Jeremy. Well, two of us are. <laughs> two of us? What two? I can't believe you said you were going to make Rickle submit. <laughs> I can't believe During the break? That. Oh, shit, man. Never. You were talking all kinds of shit on never him. Never did I say that. I don't that. think he would eat your ass. I know you say <laughs> you, you were going to make him eat your ass, yeah. but I don't, I don't think Rickles eats ass, you, man. You wanna, I, I don't know that he does, and you certainly couldn't make him. But yeah. You want to talk about somebody that has the physicality to be able to, if they wanted to, put their taint. Uh, and with me against my will, it's that guy. Well, then yeah, why are you finishing move. saying all that bad <laughs> that's his stuff? his finishing yeah. move? Yeah. Uh-huh. Off the top rope. <laughs> yeah. Actually, off the bottom rope. Yeah. The taint <laughs> face, he calls yeah. it. The taint yeah. face. Uh, but anyways, uh, how about you guys? Do you guys <laughs> yeah, Somehow he climbs up to the bottom rope <laughs> yeah. on the turnbuckle, <laughs> yeah. fires up the crowd <laughs> in, a, in an octagon that has no yeah. ropes. Ropes, yeah. I, I don't know how he does it. He's, He's a very talented man. He's incredibly He's talented. Extremely, yeah. extremely talented. He should be the host of a podcast. You know, <sighs> maybe this one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But seriously, Call any, it the taint faint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anybody got any shows the coming? Taint up? perspective. <laughs> <laughs> the taint perspective. Taint talk. Yeah. Next yeah. episode. Uh, Eric, you got any shows? February tenth that weekend. Okay, is my next one. I'll be at the Looney Bin. Uh, I think the tenth through the twelfth. All, All right. right. So no times yet or anything like that. Just Looney Bin. Uh, yeah. So 8 o'clock on the 10th, uh, 7.30 and 10, I believe, on the 11th and 12th. Okay, cool. Jeremy? Uh, let's see. In uh, two weeks, not not this weekend, but the next weekend, um, I won't be performing, but uh, Def Shepherd <laughs> will be <laughs> performing. They're a uh, Def Leppard con- <laughs> uh, cover band. <laughs> All of them are Dak Shepard lookalike. <laughs> <laughs> and then opening up for them is going to be Jizz Twizzler. So <laughs> be sure and come out to that. Yeah. Where is that going to be at? 
Uh, down there at the uh, uh, place. <laughs> the place. Mm-hmm. The what's, what's your question now? You know I'm an open book. <laughs> I'm here to answer any and all questions. What, what was your question? Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, but anyways, guys, they, they're going to be at the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In a van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but guys, again, thank you guys so much for uh, doing what you do and sharing everything you can about the show. If you... Uh, have any friends that you think would like this podcast, do tell them about it. Um, and like we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor, tell your friends and family. And if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you get COVID, but but a very mild case. Right. And the only lingering after effect is that all you smell for the rest of your life is dog queef. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... <laughs> tell your enemies. And until next time... Don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.